Today is an awesome day in Christ. Awesome day to be alive. Um, Man. The word that uh, I'm going to give you today, um, the Lord had me write down a letter first from Him before I get started because it's a very important word. I need for each and every one of you to listen closely because this word today is um, it's a life or death message. It's a it's a um, a message that brings eternal life if you hear it and separation if you don't hear it. So I'm praying that each and every one of you, uh, whether you are a visitor or rather you are a member here, that you need to uh, pay close attention uh, to the word today. Amen. I'm going to read the, the words that the Lord gave me to write down. It says, Welcome everyone, everyone who is seated here today, and everyone who watches this around the world. Israel And that means in English, and all the children of Israel, listen today, please. Have someone interpret what is said today, because dark days are coming. Do not look at Pastor Sandy today the same. He is my servant today. I will speak through him. Many warnings have gone out in this year, 2010, 5770. Yet not many have heeded warnings. When disasters happen, sin still increases. But now the day of judgment is near. The day of separation is here. Soon I will assemble all the righteous in my presence. They will no longer be on the earth. Then the Lord had me to write this and to explain this warning as I, as I read it. He says, now hear, um, now hear my warning. To all of you who call my name, listen. But are, in, or, but are involved in the sin of fornication without repentance. In the days of Moses, my prophet, I killed 23,000 for the same sin you are engaged in. If I bring you into my assembly, I was unjust to 23,000. Repent and turn from your sin or you will suffer with the unrighteous. What the Lord is saying there, if it was not clear enough, is that fornication has always been and will always be a great sin in the kingdom of God. Amen. And because society has softened it to make us believe that it is okay, he wants each and every one of us to know that it is not okay. For the same sin, 23,000 God struck them in the wilderness and they fell dead. The Lord is saying, I would have to apologize to those 23,000 people if I let you live in fornication and sin and bring you into the kingdom of heaven. I would have to apologize to the 23,000 that I killed in the wilderness. Yeah. So he's saying repent from this sin while you can. Yeah. Because the days are near and the time is coming when God will separate the righteous from the unrighteous. To Daniel Madsen, I have used you greatly to encourage my servant speaking today. Your reward is great in heaven. Do not be discouraged, but wait. My word is true, I cannot lie. Now listen to my servant as he teaches you what must soon take place. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, this is a great day for us today because um, many of us don't know it, but 
like myself before, I remember uh, growing up in LA and, and uh, someone told me that uh, I had missed a bullet or that someone had shot. I didn't know someone was shooting, but that I had missed a bullet. And they said, you could be hurt, you need to get out of you know, this neighborhood. In the same way, God is letting you know that you have missed the bullet. Because if what the Lord had given to each one of the people who are called to be watchers in this last day, and that's what we are, we're called to be watchers, to watch and see what God is doing, when His return is, and if people are ready to warn them. If what we had studied would have been 100% concrete and on point, and believe me, it was an excellent study, and in all of our minds, mine, Dan Matson, CJ, um, uh, Raul, uh, who sent me uh, one of the revelations that God had given him, uh, which helped as I fasted this week over the fact that we are still here after November 6th. Um, in all right understanding of the Word of God, there is absolutely no way that any of us who are born again and know Jesus Christ should be here. The Lord wanted me to let you know that if you are in disagreement with what is being spoken today, it is fine with Him because He's like, um, it is really not uh, a great concern of his, rather you agree with his message, or rather you disagree. In this relationship that we've had, we have to understand one thing. God himself took on human form and came to earth and died on the cross for each one of our sins. In doing this, he has opened the door for each and every one of us to enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. If you want to. Satan has put up many deceptions, many uh, roadblocks. The roadblocks of the sins that he knows that your flesh would enjoy. Other roadblocks are false religions that he makes to look like an original uh, and not a counterfeit. But they are false uh, $20 bills, I would say. They're not real. But they look real. So all of this, God has... Um, trying to still get you into the kingdom. In 2003, the Lord told me that he was taking his church out of the world in 2010. And since 2010, I have preached this message. This message um, is not a message to build a mega church on. It's not a message to make friends on. It is a message to save lives. And if you want your life to be saved, you'll heed to what is being said. Um, on the board, I have the date of November 6, 2010. November 6, 2010 is exactly seven years before the return of Jesus Christ on our calculation. And that is very much true. Everyone who studied this did an excellent job on getting to the same day. And if I explain to you how each one of us got to September 30th of 2017, it would really blow your mind because I got to the count because God told me to count every year in the Bible and then tell them what date I come to when I got to 6,000 years. And when I got to 6,000 years, I was at September 30th, 2017. When other people did the same count, um, they used the pyramids and calculated pi, which I am not a math, I mean, uh, whatever you call it, I don't know, a mathematicians or whatever, I am not one of them. <laughs> um, but let me tell you something, when he explained to me how he got to 6,000 years by calculating from the pyramids and the constellation of the stars, 6,000 years, I thought, dude, I don't understand what you're talking about, but I came to the same day, and that's incredible. 